Hello, I'm Andrew Hayduck, and I read A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. We were all going direct to heaven. We were all going direct the other way. In short, the period was so far like the present period that some of its noisiest authorities insisted on its being received, for good or for evil, in the superlative degree of comparison only. I chose this quote because I, I feel like it really exemplifies the just the writing of the story and how it is just so well written. At some points it almost becomes poetic. So the setting of A Tale of Two Cities, it takes place from 1775 to 1793 and it has two main like locations. First is being London, England and the second is Paris, France. There are five key characters. The first that I'll mention is Mr. Laurie. He is a banker for Kelson's Bank and what his role is that he is a very close friend of the Manit family, which is the main family of the story. Alexander Manit, who is a doctor, a lot of people call, people call him the doctor, and he's a very old man. He's an ex Bastille prisoner, and um, he's also the father of Lucy, who is the next character I'll mention. And Lucy Manit, her role is she play she is the the young, beautiful, pure daughter that a bunch of men are looking to have her hand in marriage. The next character is Charles Darnay. He's a young Frenchman that now lives in England. Sidney Carton is the final character I'll mention, and he works for Stryver, who is a lawyer. Sidney's kind of Stryver's assistant, and in the beginning of the story, Sidney is this lazy alcoholic man that really has no ambitions or goals in life, and he's not, he has no direction. Now, the plot of A Tale of Two Cities, I felt, had two main story arcs. The first had to do with the Manit family, and it, it had to do with their coming back together and just how they continued out through life. And then the second had to deal with the French Revolution. A theme, a theme that I found in *The Tale of Two Cities* that I think anyone who reads it should be looking out for is the idea of the possibility for resurrection. Now, I'm not going to go into detail with that because if I would, it would spoil some of the story. So I'll leave it at that. Now, for my own personal review of this story, um, I, I think it was a very good story. I'd recommend it to most people. Um, first off, I'll say as a disclaimer, this book is not a page turner. But that being said, it is a very good story. And if you read it, definitely read it all the way to the end, even if it seems at times to be very boring. Because if you were to just quit, you'd be robbing yourself of a very good story. Um, this is for a reader that is patient one that is looking for good writing because I'll say again it was a very well written book and one who cares about historical accuracy because this book was very real to the history of the time and pretty factual but this book however is not for a reader who wants a very like in your face dynamic engaging story that's going to just keep them very interested the entire time I'll give it an 8 out of 10